If you have never had a board manufacturer, then hearing about Gerber's, Exelon and Ansidril files might sound like a foreign language. After all, can't you just send your schematic and layout files directly to your manufacturer and let them handle the rest? As we all know, there are a number of PCB design softwares out there, all with their own native file format. Imagine if a manufacturer had to keep a track of every native file format from each PCB design tool throughout all time. It would be complete madness. Instead of relying on native file formats, every PCB design tool supports an intermediary manufacturing files called Gerbers. These files describe the copper of every layer in your PCB in a way that a computer-aided manufacturing system can understand. When Gerber artwork was first invented, they were used to provide instruction to a photo plotter machine that would create a picture of your PCB using light on an unexposed piece of film. These days, Gerbers are used to control a laser plotting machine to make an image of all the traces, holes, wires on your PCB layout. The trick with the Gerbers is that every file you generate will be associated with a particular layer on your board layout, each with its own unique file extension. Here are the standard file extensions. You might have noticed that one thing missing from the table is any reference to a drill file. This is actually a secondary file that you will need to send to your manufacturer along with your Gerbers. The NC drill file will be used to determine exactly where all of your drill holes are placed on your board and what size they need to be. Another thing to remember about the Gerbers is their available formats, Gerber RS-274D and Gerber RS-274X. The D format is the older standard and will use two files per layer on your PCB. The newer X standard has done away with the two file format and contains all of the information about a layer in a single file. Regarding having to manage your design data, this makes it a whole lot easier when you only have to keep a track of one file per layer instead of two. I would always recommend using Gerber RS-274X format. You might also hear of an NC drill file being referred as an Exelon file, which is based on the drilling and routing machines that were made by the Exelon Corporation. Watch another video on how to generate Gerber's and drill files from Autodesk Eagle, link given in the description.